Hello friends, it's Zeon. Welcome back. Today's quick tip is based on a request from a Verge 3D user that needed help getting started with a parametric model and in particular how to control it via an HTML form. This comes up frequently and with so many people developing configurators this might help those wondering how to get started. In this quick tip we will cover the settings of shape keys, creating the HTML buttons, and creating the Verge 3D slider controls. In Blender, we have a sheet metal component modeled to scale. For simplicity's sake, I am not going to give this part any thickness. We are just going to work with a profile. But this process works on any shape you may have. To create the shape keys, I'm going to duplicate the base model and move it along the Y axis. The placement is not required, just a personal preference. Next, I'll create a cube that will be my reference for dimension. Scaling that by 100. Oh boy, okay, that's way too big. I have to remember, my default cube is two units wide. But nonetheless, in this case, I need a cube that has a length of 100. So I will scale it by 50. I'm going to measure to double check I'm not crazy here. Okay, great. With a cube at 100 centimeters, I can move the cube so it snaps to the left-hand side of my shape key target. From there, I can edit the shape key target and move the right hand vertices to align with the right side of the cube. This makes the shape key object have a length of 100 centimeters. The process for creating the other morph targets or shape key targets is identical. So I will speed up this process for the remaining six targets. When creating your own interactive parametric model, you will want to have one shape key or morph target for each parameter you individually want to control. In this example, I started with the base object being 20 centimeters, so my length target needed to be 100, the other extreme. The base model has a height and width dimension of 20 centimeters, so each of their respective targets will have a dimension of 50. Step downs in the base model are at 1 centimeter, so their individual targets will be made at 0 to make them flat. The base angle is at 90 degrees, and there will be two controls, one for forward and one for back angle control. So you'll create a target for each of these as well. We now need to join the shape keys to the base object. To do this, we select all the shape key mesh objects, then select our initial base object last. Under the object data properties, use the drop down arrow in the shape keys panel. Left clicking will show you the join as shapes option. Select join as shapes. You can now test your shape keys by adjusting the values. Before I forget, I like to move my shape key mesh targets to a collection that will ensure they are not exported to Verge 3D. Be sure to go to the render properties, Verge 3D settings, and uncheck your excluding collection that contains the shape key targets. Okay, I'm going to hide the shape key targets, and uh, just for good measure, I'm going to test the shape key values for each particular shape key to make sure they work. And we do that by adjusting the slider value. Uh, for each shape key. Uh, after that, I will go ahead and start the renaming process. I'll speed that up. I want to name all my shape key targets something that I can use in Verge or at least easily recognize. I'm not going to go into the details of how to create or how to design a texture, but in this case, we're going to use a 1024 by 1024 texture. The most important thing to note is this is a 4 by 2 texture, and each texture cell is 512 by 256. Up next, we'll be going over slider menu modeling. In part two, you can find the video link uh, below, and we hope to see you there. If you can, like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.